the Lord is, there is liberty. God bless you as you are seated today. One of our favorite verses in the Old Testament, for sure, is the prophecy of Jeremiah. And in that 29th chapter, in verse 11, we often hear it quoted. It's a feel-good scripture. Makes us feel better. It, it, it gives us a sense of uh, accomplishment and confidence. That text says, For I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. Plans of good and not of evil. Plans to give you hope and a future. Some texts say an expected end. We've heard it before. We like to quote it. We like to use it at opportune times. There's nothing wrong with that. But we need to have a even deeper appreciation and understanding for the text in its entirety. Mm -hmm. The whole of it. Because there's much more to this story than just that verse. And my friends, as you read the Bible and as you excavate the scriptures, always seek to know the story behind the story. That's right. What's underneath the text? It's called an exegesis. Mm -hmm. An exegesis is a term that simply tells us to take the meaning out of something. Mm -hmm. Exit. You hear exit. You hear um, uh, terms in there like um, depart. You hear terms in there like um, take out of, extract. extract. You can hear that in that term, exegesis. I, I wanted us to have a clearer understanding as we go into the new year because we're going into a new year with an expectation. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Amen. You ought to go into the new year expecting something. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And not expecting to just sub-exist. Right. <laughs> you know, just to get by by osmosis. Mm -hmm. You ought to have a plan. <clears throat> you ought to have a vision. You ought to have a hope and an expected yeah. end. But how do we get to that? Well, when we look at our text uh, critically, we see in the previous verses that the children of Israel have been taken captive. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a text that comes out of a situation of chaos. Mm -hmm. A text that comes out of a situation of calamity. It's amazing that something so positive mm. can come out of something so negative. That's yeah. right. Yeah. But we must remember that every negative situation isn't the end of the story. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sometimes a negative is a stepping stone to something much better. Mm -hmm. That's right. So Nebuchadnezzar came into the region of Palestine uh -huh. and conquered the area and took the leading citizens of Jerusalem and Judah captive. Mm -hmm. And then he marched them over 500 miles to the northeast from Israel to what we know biblically as Babylon. Mm -hmm. Today, Babylon would be Iraq, mm -hmm. where our soldiers yeah. mm -hmm. are still in conflict. Mm -hmm. 
it would be uh, neighboring to Iran uh -huh. and south of Afghanistan. Have mercy. To give you some reference. So these quarter million captives were led across the burning sands mm -hmm. to Mesopotamia, to Persia, the Persian Gulf region, uh -huh. to Babylon. Mm. When they got to Babylon, they were a conquered people and they were a subject people. Mm -hmm. They were slaves without chains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were slaves without being bound. Uh -huh. But they had been taken exile from their homeland, from their place of conflict, to a foreign land where they would be subject to a king with an iron fist. Mm -hmm. How did they end up in Babylon? How did they end up so far from home? Yes. How did they end up conquered and defeated? I thought these were God's chosen people. Yes. Yes. Aren't these God's special people? Yes. Aren't these God's called people? Mm -hmm. But yet they end up captive to a man who worship idols. Mm -hmm. To a man who worship Marduk. Mm -hmm. A man who worship Azura Mazda. A man who worship idol gods. Mm -hmm. But good people sometimes do twisted, perverted things. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Even though they have a good foundation. Uh -huh. yeah. They have a good root. Yeah. They have a good pedigree. Yeah. They've been brought up well. Mm -hmm. And they still do That's right. twisted things. Yes. Uh -huh. They still say twisted things. Uh -huh. They still follow yeah. twisted things. Yeah. Because you see, no matter how well trained and groomed you are, Mercy. We're still subject to pressure. Yeah. Yeah. We're still subject to lust. Uh -huh. We're subject to desire. Uh -huh. Our eye gates intake Come on. things that cause us to fall out of character. Yeah. Yeah. Our ear gates receive things mm. that cause us to lose direction. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how good you are. Mm. Good people do bad things. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes unintentionally, yeah. mm. but sometimes mm. out of spite. Yeah. Uh, have mercy, have mercy. Mercy. So these good folk Preach. who had been under the umbrella, under the wings of God, began to be pressured by their environment. Mm -hmm. They began to fall away into apostasy. Uh-huh. They began to worship other gods. Yeah. Uh -huh. They began to fall into sacrilege. Uh -huh. Doing things that were anti-God. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. They began to practice uh, idolatry, uh -huh. witchcraft, uh -huh. fornication. Uh -huh. They just lost their center. And when they got so far off track mm -hmm. and God had given them chance after chance after chance, yeah. God finally had to allow them to be punished. That's uh -huh. right. To be chastised. Yeah. And amazingly enough, he didn't set a plague on them. All right. He did not send sickness on them. Yeah. Uh -huh. He did not devastate the land. He used an enemy. All right. He used foreigners. Mm. He used a dollar. Yeah. The same witchcraft that Israel had fallen into. Come on. Come on. God used that Come on. to punish them for their transgression. Yes. What? What? Since they were so hung up mm. on bad. <laughs> 
I'm gonna give you a bath. They set a glass in a bay of worship. Give you a bath. To come you from the east it. and conquer them. Get a preach right there. And take the best, the cream of the crop among the people. Come on. He took all of the queens, uh, the princes, uh, the kings, the craftsmen, <laughs> the, the bricklayers, yeah. the carpenters, the yeah. plumbers. What he, he did, he took the people the smart, who had skills. So that Israel could not that rebuild itself, itself. Yeah, yeah. and left the unskilled peasants there uh -huh. and marched them across the desert. Come on. See, sometimes God has to use that thing that turns us off yeah. hey. to turn us off. Y'all yeah, yeah. get that one later. Oh, yeah. Sometimes God has to yeah. take our vices yeah. yes. and break us down. With that thing that we so desire to have. Makes you hate it. Isn't it amazing that the thing you want so bad, when you get it, mm. it makes you sick, it makes you broke, it makes you bitter, and you find out it wasn't as good as you thought it was anyway. That's what they ended up in the middle of God's wrath. Uh -huh. wow. mm. And when God is angry, mm. he doesn't come at you directly. Mm. God will come at you and you won't even see it until it happens to you. All of a sudden, the armies of Babylon had invaded Israel. Yeah. Yeah. And they tried to run to the south. But the Edom, the uh, Edomians blocked them and wouldn't let them escape to Egypt. Uh, yeah. And they ended up in Babylon. Uh, Jesus. They ended up in a strange land. Yeah. Anybody ever been to a strange land? Ooh, yes. <laughs> Anybody ever been to a place where you didn't even feel natural oh, anymore? Yes. Yes. Place where you felt, you know, disconnected. Yes. Place where you felt out of sorts. Yes. You really just couldn't get comfortable. You really couldn't find a, a place that mm. made you feel like you were in a safe environment. You were always on your P's and Q's looking yes. on your shoulder because you in a, a bad place. And you know that bad place sometimes it's is in your natural house. environment. Yeah. That bad place sometimes is right where you live. Yeah. That bad place is sometimes in the midst it's of your your family, your friends, and yeah. your loved ones, yeah. and it's just a bad place. Yeah. You were there. Yes. But you hate being there. Yeah, you better talk about it. You're there. Yeah. But you would rather be somewhere else. Uh -huh. You're there. Yeah. But you're only there physically. Yeah. That's so sad. I, I, I hate them OJs. Y'all yeah. know about the OJs, don't you? Yeah. The OJs used to say, Your body's here with me. But your mind is I'm glad I got some old school stuff in here. There's some young folks in this group named the OJs. They didn't get back in 79. They said, Your body's here with me. But your mind is on the other side of town. Yeah. And when your body is here and your mind is there, you just faking the funk over here. Yeah. You just put you just putting on a show over here. You're not really into it. You're not really grooving with it because you'd rather be somewhere else. Anybody ever been in the place and you'd rather be somewhere else? Yeah. So they were in Been Babylon. Uh -huh. mm. And Nebuchadnezzar, once he got them there, he just kind of dropped them off. Uh -huh. Gave them a region uh -huh. where they could live. Yeah. Uh -huh. But they were subject uh -huh. to his kingship. Yes. You know, they were free. Uh -huh. But they really weren't free. <laughs> they really weren't free. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh -huh. 
Mm. You know, even when you feel free, yeah. there's a limit to your freedom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can't go but so far. You can't do but so many things because your freedom is checked by other people's freedom. Uh -huh. Yeah. So they were so far from home. Uh -huh. They were miserable. Yes, yes. They were heartbroken. Uh huh. Jesus. They were sad. Then they became depressed. Mm -hmm. And when you're depressed, mm -hmm. Jesus. you can't function fully. Yes, Jesus. Because there's a cloud on you. Yes, yes. There's a heaviness on you. Uh huh. There's a burden on you. And it won't let you flow in your full potential. Yes, that's right. Yeah. That's why when folks are depressed, they can lift their hands, but they can't wave them. Uh -huh. You know, they can do a little something. But they can't give them full praise. Yes, yes, yes. You know, they, they, they can't open their mouth and just uh -huh. let it all hang out yes, because yes. they're just pressed down and they, uh -huh. they, they want to get up and dance but their feet feel so Ooh, heavy yes. from all the weight and the pressure yes. of being in a bad situation yes. and uh -huh. when you lose your praise yes. when you lose your hilarity when yes. you lose your yes. worship it's a sign that depression is weighing down so heavy on yes. you that you can't release. Yes. Yes. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. There's a lot of church folks who come to church so yes, depressed and oppressed and regressed that they can't wave the hand. Yes. They got a tongue, they can't speak in it uh -huh. because their tongue, the cat got their tongue. Yes. They want to run, but they feel like they got shackles on their feet. Yes. Yes. That's what happens when you find yourself living in a strange land. All right, man. So God knows yes. uh -huh. how deep depression can be. Yes. So God spoke to the prophet, uh -huh. Jeremiah, yes. the son of Hilkiah, yes. Jeremiah from Anathoth, uh -huh. of the tribe of Benjamin. He spoke to him and said, I want you to send a letter to Babylon. Uh -huh. You see, Jeremiah didn't go with them in the exile uh -huh. because even Nebuchadnezzar Acknowledged that he was a prophet from God. Yes. And Nebuchadnezzar did not want to put his hands on the prophet. On the prophet. <laughs> he had heard somewhere, touch not my anointing. Yes. Isn't it amazing that even an idol worshiper yes. would know that the word of God said, don't touch the anointing? <laughs> Sometimes even a heathen yes. will respect God. More than those of us who've been born again and baptized, filled with the Holy Spirit. So Jeremiah was ordered to write a letter, and it wasn't a love letter. He wrote a letter to the exiles in Babylon and said, "Here's what." The Lord God of heaven uh -huh. wants you to do uh -huh. while you are captive uh -huh. in a strange land. Uh -huh. So first of all, uh -huh. build houses. Uh -huh. You need somewhere to stay. Uh -huh. You need shelter. Uh -huh. So build houses and set them out. Now they Definitely didn't want to hear that. <laughs> because they thought they were just going to be there a little while. Jesus. But Jeremiah has a word from the Lord that says, y'all need to build houses. Uh -huh. And settle down. Uh -huh. Stop being so flighty. Uh -huh. mm. That's a word for the church. Settle down. settle down. Stop jumping all over the place. Yeah. Settle down. Yes. Find you one 
the house of the Lord where the word is being preached yes. and stay there. Yes. Yes. Stop yes. church hopping. Yes. Stop running from place to place just because you don't hear what you wanted to hear that Sunday. Woo. It's because they didn't let you sing your solo. Woo. It's because they didn't let you do what you wanted to do. Don't let that keep you Amen. from establishing a place to worship. Yes. 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 Settle down. Yes. Stop running from pillar to post. Uh -huh. That's right. Same folks that jack you up one Sunday, they'll be the same folks that'll chop you down another Sunday. So don't get it twisted. There's no perfect place for you to go. Amen. Amen. But while you're there, uh -huh. set it down. down. Set it down. Build house. Yeah. Plant gardens. Yes, uh -huh. Get you a row of corn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a row of okra. Right. A row of tomatoes. Yeah. Water bro, uh, yes. potatoes. And uh -huh. Get your place where you can feed your family. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. And since you're there, don't be looking for special food from Israel. Uh -huh. Eat what's there. Yeah, uh yeah. -huh. Because some of us go places we can't eat anybody's food, uh -huh. but certain folks who mix our food, certain folks <laughs> who cook our food. If you hungry, you're behind I better start eating what's around you. Yeah. That's right, that's yeah. right. Because God doesn't make anything that will kill you. Amen. God does not make anything to harm you. Eat the crops. Yes. Mm. Even in a strange land. Uh -huh. Amen. But not only that, expand your families. Yes. Uh -huh. What you mean? I'm in a strange place. I'm not trying to progenerate. Uh -huh. But a word it says. Let your sons and daughters get married. Yes. Now there's a reason for that. Because God was about to tell them some bad news. Uh-huh. Y'all gonna be here for a while. Uh -huh. Some of us gonna be in a bad place for a while. Come yeah, on, yeah. let's see. Mm. It's a hard prophetic word. It yes. is. It is. It's not always going to be mm -hmm. high in the sky. Yes, yes. You're going to have some tough times. Yes. You're going to deal with some painful situations. Uh -huh. Your money going to be funny sometimes. Yes. And your health not always going to be the best. Mm. But since you're in Babylon, uh -huh. plant God. Yes. Let your children bear. And let them have children. Uh -huh. Because some of you not coming out of Babylon. Uh -huh. But you need to build another generation. Yes. A generation that will Amen. come home from Babylon. Yes. Yes. Seniors, older folks, we got to stop acting like we the end. Uh -huh. yes. We got to stop acting like we're going to be here always. Yes. We have to stop acting like we're the only ones that can do it. We're the only ones that will do it. We're the only ones that want to do it. We got to train this next generation. We got to pour it into them. We got to teach them. We got to preach them. We got to hold them. We got to shake them. We got to give them something to look forward to. Because they already got plots at the cemetery with names on it of folks who haven't even died yet. That's right. Because they know that the time has come. Uh -huh. And since we all got to check out of here, yeah. we need to leave a legacy. Yeah. We need to leave a legacy of good and not of evil. We need to leave a legacy of hope yeah. and peace. Yeah. So he's saying, let your children man. Uh -huh. And have, let your children have children. Yeah. And their children have children. Because you want to increase the number, uh -huh. not decrease the number. Jesus. The reason these folks here are in such a quiet mind mm -hmm. is because they stopped having children mm -hmm. yeah, in the 70s and 80s yeah, right. and start cutting their families That's back <laughs> to, uh, you know, mom and dad and son and daughter. Yeah. Uh -huh. But they didn't understand. Colored folks were still having five and six children. 
and his bad folk have seven and eight children. Yeah. You know what? They're going to outnumber them in about 25 years. Yeah. Because you see, if you don't keep increasing, you're going to start decreasing. Yeah. That's why when we pray for the offering, I say, Lord, give us increase. Yeah. Give us increase. Yeah. Enlarge our territory. Yeah. We don't want to see our generation die out. We don't want to be like the blonde haired blue eyed folk. Yeah. Who, as you look around, neighborhoods are becoming brown. Uh huh. And brown. Yes. Schools are becoming brown. Yes. Uh -huh. City council is becoming brown. Uh -huh. Yes. The government's going to become brown yes. because we have continued mm -hmm. to increase uh -huh. rather than decrease. Yes. Right. Don't get mad at it, folk. Brown folk that have six or seven children. Uh -huh. I know you think that it's going to take up all of your tax money. But somebody got to run this place when we are all out of here. Verse 7, I'm hurrying. 7 says, but also, since you're there, don't be troublemakers. All right, now. Yes. Don't be violent. Yes. yes. Don't try to disrupt society. All right. But seek the peace, peace. and the prosperity uh -huh. of the city to which you have been carried into exile. Right. Okay. If you end up in Babylon, don't burn Babylon down. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going to live? Yeah. You're 500 plus miles away from home. Yeah. You don't even know how to get back home. Yeah. You better try to make the best of the situation yeah. that you find yourself in. In other words, yeah. learn how to bloom yeah. 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 where you are planted. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because see, God has you where you are right now uh -huh. for a reason, mm -hmm. for a season, uh -huh. for a purpose. Uh -huh. That's a story. Mm -hmm. Behind where you are today. And you may not like where you are. You may want to change where you are. You may want to move from where you are. But my friends, if you move premature, if you change too early, the fullness of time will not come. You got to stay there to the fullness of time. Believe me, mm. I ask God on a regular basis, mm -hmm. what am I doing in Thomasville, uh -huh. North Carolina, oh, of all depressed places to be God right here? And God keeps saying, because you have a work, you have an assignment, yes, you right. have a task. And you don't choose the people you serve, I choose the people yes. whom you serve. Yes. You didn't call you, I called you. So sometimes you have to humble yourself and say, well, since I'm stuck here, I might as well make the best of a bad situation. I might as well stretch it out. I might as well grow it. I might as well build it. Because you see, complaining about it will only put wrinkles in your face. And I heard the saying, black don't crack. Well, let black be under the stress, black will crack. And you walk around looking all cracked up, all messed up, but like you, you keep a limit in your mouth all the time. You don't have no joy. You never smile. It's because you're trying to change something that God don't plan for you to change. So since I'm here, I'm going to build this amazing. Since I'm here, I'm going to start a university. Since I'm here, I'm going to start a social action community. Since I'm here, I'm going to talk to the gospel. Since I'm here, I'm going to marry those. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm going to wear those. I'm here. I'm going to put a table out in front of the church and eat some people. So, so bloom. Uh-huh. Where you are planted. Amen. Make the best. Yes. Of where you are. Yes. Because a lot of us are in a place that the enemy. Yes, Jesus. 
tried to trap us in. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To depress us. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. But God, but God took the end of his plan. Uh-huh. The evil he planned against you. Yes. God is going to take that plan. Yes, Jesus. And turn that thing around. Mm. And use it. Uh-huh. For your good. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. And people are going to marvel. Yes. At the fact. Yes. That what happens to you to kill you. Yes. Hey. Yes. Yes. Don't they? Yes. yes. They see you. Yes. And your, your, your shoulders are up straight. Amen. 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 And your head right back. Amen. And your, your skin glowing. Yes. Your nails not ragged. Yes. Your hair shining. Yes. Yes. Your shoes not all scuffed up. Yes. And they're like, I thought you said he was. I thought you said he was in jail. I thought you said she cracked up. I thought you said he was a failure. Yes, yes. People count. People count you out too early because they don't realize that God was using that situation to make you a great nation. And to bring you up out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Hey. You know what they forgot? Uh-huh. You know God too. <laughs> <laughs> when you put somebody down and you trash in somebody, yeah, that's right. Don't forget. <laughs> they know God too. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So speak peacefully of one another. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look at verse 8. I'm going to try to get there. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Yes. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, said. Some of y'all are not going to like me about this one. Said, <laughs> Do not let the prophets uh-huh. and diviners uh-huh. among you uh-huh. deceive you. Uh-huh. Well, Lord. Don't let folk who work groups uh-huh. tell you. Uh-huh. What you ought to do. Yes, right. yes. I know some of y'all that make me funny. Some of your family members work roots. <laughs> you better catch that devil out of them. Yes. In the name yes. of Jesus. Show up at your house with Google dust and yes. take some of this spread it around the front door. Uh-huh. Show up. Jesus. Show up at, at your house with chicken bones and pour them out on the table. Sure. See what it says. Look at that one right there. See how that one laid over that one right there? Some of y'all not laughing because last week we did it. Listen, <laughs> some folks will come to you yes. with stuff they say they see. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh-huh. I saw a cloud. I had a, a, a Negro come to my office one day in South Carolina. See, when I walked to your office, I saw a cloud over you. I said, well, that's because I had the light off, fool. <laughs> you better get out of my office talking about what you saw over me. Uh-huh. The God I serve is bigger than what you can see over me. You don't have no minion over me. You don't have authority over me. Stop letting folks come to you and tell you what you ought to do and what you believe you ought to do. I had a dream about you. Who I had a dream about you. Well, you better stop eating the ice cream before you go to bed. Because that was gas. That's right. That the word says, do not let the prophets yes. and folk will come and come to you and introduce themselves to you. I'm Prophet John. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Yes. Uh-huh. Now, are you prophet in your mind or are you prophet in the kingdom of God? Yes. Because if you're really a prophet, you don't have to tell me you're Prophet John. You don't have to identify yourself as that. I'll pick up on it by the way you walk. I'll pick up on it by the way you talk. I'll pick up on it by the way you try not to give me a prophecy. Uh-huh. Amen. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. See, the true prophet would try his best, uh-huh. try her best, uh-huh. not to give you a prophecy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because they don't want it to be of them. Amen. Uh-huh. But when it's of God, uh-huh. 
even though it's reluctant, mm -hmm. they have to reveal it. Watch out. But when folks just walk up to you, say, I got a prophecy for you. Mm -hmm. No, what you got is a probability for me. Because mm. you can look at my age and my weight and my height. And you can look at the crowd among us. Mm -hmm. See, it's, it's about 60 folks in here now. Have mercy. So I just hope to say, somebody here got high blood pressure. <laughs> they black. They black. And it's 60 black folks in here. <laughs> Somebody got high blood pressure. Next thing you know, somebody a week ago will say, Oh, he's talking about me. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> and, then they, and then they just go in on the person. That's uh -huh. what they did. They played the numbers. Right. Right. Yeah, that's right. It's just 60 of us. At least three of y'all got high blood pressure. Amen. Have mercy, Lord. A couple of y'all got some kidney issues. Uh -huh. Several of you have back problems. Uh -huh. well, and the audience is old enough that I know some folk got arthritis. Uh -huh. That wasn't prophetic. Amen. That was probability. Uh -huh. Stop letting folks play with your mind yes. telling you yes. that they hear from God and talk to you. Yes. Uh -huh. The church, the, the, the people of Israel in Babylon were getting duped uh -huh. by prophets who were not set by God. Yes. Now there are prophets. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They don't walk around with a sign on their foot Amen. Amen. And the diviners, uh -huh. those are with witch doctors uh -huh. and sorcerers. Uh -huh. There's plenty of them in Thomasville. Uh -huh. High Point, Greenberg, Salisbury. Okay, a whole bunch of root doctors. Uh -huh. Be careful with folks from certain areas in South Carolina. Yeah. I, I know. Down in Chester. Do it to you, boy. They'll pull a root out on you. <laughs> and uh and tell you that this is what the roots say. And I'd be like, I ain't scared of your roots. I got roots in the backyard running through all my garden, all my plants. I ain't worried about a root. Yeah, no, roots yeah, don't yeah. tell me anything. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Your faith got to be in God. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, in yeah. the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's right. Don't be intimidated yeah. by the saucer that's right. of those who want to be. Soothsayers. Yeah, yes. And he says, do not listen to the dreams. Well, now this is a trip right here. Mm -hmm. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have. Mm. If you want something real bad. Come on. Real bad. Uh -huh. Anybody ever wanted something real bad? Mm -hmm. You start thinking about it. Mm. Yeah. You think about it. You write notes about it. You talk to other people about it. In, a, in other words, you start to obsess over it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you obsess over it long enough, it'll wind up in your sleep. Yes, yes. And if it winds up in your sleep, you begin to dream about it. Uh -huh. And then you make a mistake and say, God showed me this in the dream. Yes, yes. No, what happened is your ego and your id mm -hmm. cooperated. Mm -hmm. And the power of suggestion mm -hmm. and the power of obsession yes. mm -hmm. made this thing appear. In your sleep. Yeah. Right. And you start dreaming about it. But I'm so happy that all yeah. dreams don't come true. Yeah. 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 You know, I had a dream about you. No, that was a nightmare. <laughs> and it ain't gonna come true. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Because it's not sanctioned by God. Right. And your power of suggestion will cause you to have irrational uh -huh. and unfulfilled dreams. Yes, That's right. Yes. Verse 9. Are y'all still with me? Yes. Y'all yes. yes. heard anything here? Yeah. Yes. I'm setting you up for verse 11. Uh -huh. Then he says something to give us clarity. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. How many folks, you, you, don't, you can't even remember them now, have told you stuff that's going to happen and didn't happen? Right. Yeah, well, yeah. well, I know. Tell you over and over again. You're going to get this. You're going to get that. That's what happened. And it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. That's proper lying. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's for a prophet, but it's a lie. Mm -hmm. Because God has not sent them. Not because they sinned. They just went. All right. But it wasn't because God endorsed it. Verse 10. This is what the Lord said. 
Jeremiah is a true prophet. So Jeremiah has written them a letter and told them, this is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed. What's 70 years, my friends? Three generations. It's about 25 years in a generation. He said, when 70 years are completed, when three generations are completed, I'm going to send for you. I'm going to release you from your captivity and bring you back to Israel. I'm going to let you come back home after 70 years. But see, we got to get through three generations because we got to clean that out. We got to clean out that idolatry. We got to clean out that idol worship. We got to clean out that apostasy. And so those who came Unless they were little children. They won't be going back. Uh -huh. Those who were 40, 50, 60 years old. They won't be going back. Mm -hmm. So he said there's going to be three generations. 70 years. Mm -hmm. There's a purge that's going to take place. Sometimes when a tree gets too big and the branches spread out too far. You got to cut some of the branches off. Mm -hmm. It doesn't kill the tree. But it makes the rest of the tree stronger. That's right. See, some of the limbs are so big that they attach the tree. Mm -hmm. So you cut off those limbs. Uh -huh. And the tree goes bigger and bigger. Yeah. And the roots go down further and further because they don't have to feed so much. Uh -huh. So God has to cut off some stuff in our life. Yes. So we can get deeper. Yes. God has to prove some things in our life. Because all of a sudden we got too shallow. And we started to depend on our own glory. And our roots not going any deeper. They just, you know how when you drive across your yard, you got roots all over the place. And you're bumping off and they're tearing your yard up. They drying your yard out. The grass won't hardly grow. See, these roots are growing across. And they're sucking up all the nutrients. Yeah. But trees are truly designed for the roots to go down. Uh -huh. And when they go down deep, uh -huh. they hit the tap root, hits a rock. Mm -hmm. And when it hits the rock, uh -huh. it doesn't stop growing. It starts wrapping itself mm -hmm. around that rock. Uh -huh. So that the next time tornado winds blow, yeah. uh -huh. the tree will go. Man, but won't break. Too often in our lives, we got so, so shallow yeah. that when the men blow, we just <laughs> just fall out. Yeah. It's because we're not deep. Yes, come on. You're not deep. Come on. Preach, Michelle. You'll fall out. That's, good. That's uh -huh. good. That's why when a uh, calamity comes, That's good. you start crying and screaming. Mm -hmm. Cuss the fuck out. Mm. Yeah. Want to fight people. Mm -hmm. Instead of being calm. Mm. Oh. That's right. very good. God got it. Yeah. God got it. God got it. I'll have to fall out. Mm. I'll have to lose my mind. Mm -hmm. Because my root is deep. Mm. And it's wrapped around the rock. Yeah. And because of that, God is not only going to come visit me. Yeah. He's going to take me back. Amen. To a place that's firm. Yeah. Mm. He's going to bring me back. Uh-huh. To a place of prosperity. Yeah, yeah. Because you know why he's gonna do that? Because he knows yes, he the plan yeah. that he has for me. Yeah. Say yeah. the Lord. Mm -hmm. I don't know the plans he has for me. Mm. I'm a theologian. Mm -hmm. But I don't know the mind of God. Yeah. See, God's thoughts. Are not our thoughts. God's ways are not our ways. So God has a plan uh -huh. that He hasn't revealed to me yet. Yeah. But because He has promised that He has a plan, uh -huh. then I'm living in expectation. Yeah. He says He knows the plans uh -huh. that He has for me. I don't know what they are, 
but I'm excited about it. I don't know what they are, but I'm glad about them. I'm glad about them because their plans to prosper me. And that prosperity may be in my pocket. It may be in my health. Yes. It may be in my children. Yes. It may be in my congregation. Yes. But he can't lie. Uh -huh. He's not a man that he should lie. Right. Nor the son of man that he should ever repent. Right. He says he knows what he has for me. Uh -huh. And it's yes. good. And it's not evil. Yes. And what's that? What does this plan do? It gives me hope. Thank you. Yes. It yes. gives me hope. Yes. Yes. But not only if he gives me hope, it gives me a future. Yes. Yes. And now look, my future may not be material. Oh, right, man. My future may not be in this flesh. Oh, yeah. The future could be in eternity. Yes. Yes. But it's my future. Yes. And it looks good. Yes. Because God has declared it for uh -huh. me. And verse 12 really sums it up. He says, then you'll call on me. Yes, Lord. And you'll pray to me. Yes, yes. But in other words, he's saying, we gonna make up. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Right. I know I sent you away from here. Yes. But we're gonna make up now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when we make up, you're gonna call my name. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you've been calling me in Babylon. Mm -hmm. And I just kept my body and spirit over you. Uh -huh. But when you get back and you call on me. My Holy Spirit. I'm going to come and sit down with you. I'm going to camp out with you. I'm going to get close to you. I'm going to put my arms around you. I'm going to hold you tight to me. I'm never going to leave you. I won't forsake you. I won't turn my back on you. But when you call on me, I'm going to hear you. And I'm going to respond to you. Because you know what hell is really about? Hell is being somewhere where you can't hear from God. Uh, I want you to have expectation. Amen. In 2018, I want you to Amen. live with expectation. I want you to have your mind focused and stay on Jesus. I want you to have a disposition yes. that's happy. Yes. I want you to have a mind like Christ. Yes. And I want you to be looking forward and not behind you. Yes. We can't go back and catch November 2017. Mm -mm. We can't catch March 2017. Mm -hmm. We won't be able to grasp January 2017. Mm -hmm. But in 24 hours, you'll be able to hold on to 2018. Yes. And you'll be able to realize God has a plan for me. Yes. Whenever it gets dark, just remember God has a plan for yes. you. Mm, yes, it does. Whenever you feel like giving up, mm -hmm. don't. Because God has a plan for you. Yes. You are in God's will. And God has you in the will, and he's not going to die for you to get what's in his will for you. I got a letter from my aunt, my aunt's estate, about two weeks ago. Said that she left me something. I was happy about it. Hadn't got it yet. Glad about it. But unfortunately, she had to die. For me to get my sin mm -hmm. Uh huh. God can't die. Yeah, you can. Thank you, Lord. But you're still in the way. Yeah. And y'all don't know why y'all didn't get that one. He can't die. Yeah. And you're still in the heaven. You are joint heir with Jesus. Yeah. And what God has for you, yeah. it is for you. Thank you. And you will get it. Yes. Yeah. Let's stand together today. Wow. Yeah.
Amen.